Welcome back guys. My name is Rebecca, never Becky. And if you're new to the channel, hi, welcome. You are now a part of the family. So go ahead, click subscribe. I know you're interested. Right now, I'm just gonna be talking about guys, how are we all celebrating events? Birthdays, graduations, weddings. Um, what else is going on? I think baby showers. Like, how are you guys celebrating these big events in your lives without missing it? Do to the social distancing. I'm curious to know what you guys are up to. And if you guys wanna know what I'm up to and how I'm staying in touch, let's get into this video. <laughs> okay guys, since we're talking about like how we can celebrate, you know, special occasions like birthdays, baby showers, um, you know, graduation, stuff like that, I am very curious to see like, you know, how everyone is celebrating. I'm seeing a lot of Zooms uh, meetings and stuff like that. I think that's pretty cool. Um, as always, guys, I'm gonna start with my concealer under the eyes because, of course, I always look tired. And it's just the way I naturally look, so I'm covering up that natural look that um, God gave me. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But yeah, I'm really um, interested to see how everyone's like, you know, able to bring in special occasions, baby showers, I saw, uh, a really nice baby shower um, that was done over like I guess via zoom and it was pretty cool I can't lie I was like oh that's you know really neat that um, people are finding very creative ways to stay in touch and um, celebrate still I'm I want to know if anyone's in high school um, that's being homeschooled or if you're in college like what are you guys' plans in order to celebrate this, you know, graduation year for you guys in 2020? How are you guys finding um, ways to celebrate amongst your friends and family? Um, leave me comments about that. I'm very curious to know. I'm gonna be using my Too Faced foundation today, guys. Um, I'm gonna be creating a really nice bold eye today. I'm gonna be mainly using um, browns, nude colors, and what else? I have just a couple of nice, you know, new colors I wanna try out, so that's what I'm gonna do today. Um, just to get started, I'm gonna go ahead and finish distributing out this foundation throughout the face. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my Black Radiance um, concealer stick. I don't have a name. It only has a number, and I don't actually even know how old this stick is, so I'm gonna leave this out of the description box, guys. But it is a, a Black Radiance concealer stick, and any concealer st stick that you have that's probably like a shade or two darker, it's gonna be fine. So you can use this, guys. So I'm just gonna go in and start shaping my nose a little bit here and going down the bridge of my nose. But back on to like how I just wanna know like how everyone is deciding to celebrate birthdays. I most likely will be in my house. Um, there's just nowhere to go. I don't, I don't think that this will be over come August and that's my, you know, the month of my birthday. So I definitely don't think that this will be over. Um, I would like for it to be, but I think for my, birthday I'm just gonna keep it very you know simple nothing serious there's just nothing to do so it's you know just nothing really to celebrate as far as like where to go you can just celebrate right there in your house now and so I just think it's really cool that everyone is starting to zoom I'm like curious to see like how you know everyone feels about like you know zooming it's like is that the new wave do you guys think that that's going to be the new way of like communication moving forward out of this like you know i definitely don't think after this is over anything will be the same guys i just don't believe anything will be the same once this is over um i think we're definitely going to find ways to you know communicate um so i think that's definitely going to pay play a part so i'm wondering like you know, is Zoom gonna be the new wave after all of this is over? Or are people gonna go back to like their regular lives? It's gonna be very interesting to see what happens. Um, but I'm just right now contouring my face, guys. Really putting in the work. 
with this concealer stick. It's really old, so it's kind of like, I don't know, tacky. So it kind of like holds onto the skin really well because it's a little, I, I don't know, I don't know. The formula is just really weird. It, maybe it's the formula, maybe it has nothing to do with like how old it is, but it's really different. <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and finish this out. Don't know what that was. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish this out and then we're gonna get to the eyes, guys. I'm really excited to show you what I'm thinking that I can create. Again, nothing. Right now, I'm not planning any of my looks out. I'm just winging it. So I always feel a little more nervous winging it. But I actually like the thrill of not knowing what's gonna happen by the time I'm done, you know, recording. It's like, what happened? Did it turn out good? I don't know. <laughs> so let's see. So I'm, I'm enjoying this aspect. So I'm gonna go ahead and start contouring and I'll be up right back, guys. Don't go anywhere. And if you're still watching, Subscribe. <laughs> that was creepy. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and finish. I'm gonna move on to the eyes. I went and primed my eyes this time. I rarely prime my eyes because like my palettes are so good. Sometimes I really don't need it. But for this look, I am starting with a nude like color from my Jaclyn Hill. She's back in the picture, guys. Um, I'm gonna start off with like mixing these two colors on my lid to kind of get my base started. So that's what I'm doing. I'm taking those two colors and I'm just gonna go ahead and start neutralizing my eye. I really like using these two colors um, for like a nude base um, because I really don't find a whole lot of nudes that doesn't turn me pink. I don't know if you guys ever witnessed that, but I kind of get that like, it just kind of goes pink and it's like, wow, that's not nude. That's not my version of nude, but I like these two because it's the closest to the nude that I prefer. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just gonna prime the entire eye and start with this nice, intense, can you guys see that? Like it is so intense, it's so nice. And this primer is really good because it's picking it all up. I feel like when you're using very soft colors like this, it's important to have primer on your eye. Um, and just because it's like helpful, it helps it stand out. You don't have to put too much um, work in trying to build that color up. It will just be there for you, immediate on contact. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm doing. So this is how you make like matte colors stand out, even if it's really soft. You know, even if you think, oh, that's not gonna show up on me, all you have to do is prime your eye with really good primer that's gonna stick. It's like tacky kind of, not like a wet primer. That never works, at least not for me. Um, but I'm still mixing and I'm just gonna make sure I complete the entire eye of blending it on there. Cause I just want this to be a base starter and yeah. But, um, you know, going back to celebrations, guys, I'm just, you know, I'm really sad we can't get out and, you know, have celebrations out, but I'm really proud of how, like, far we've come in order to deal with our circumstances right now and everyone doing Zoom and, you know, really enjoying that time. I know for me, like, I'm doing a lot of FaceTiming that I've never used before. Like, all this FaceTime, I have an iPhone, so the fact that I've rarely touched my iPhone to go and FaceTime someone, it's like now I feel like it's better than the phone calls. You know, now I'm like, ooh, who's gonna FaceTime me today? You know, cause it's different. You get a, you know, I guess in person, one-on-one, -on -one, that interaction. So to me, I'm like, uh, yeah, I love this a little bit. Sometimes like you catch me off guard. It's like, well, I look the way I look today, you know? But I, I like it. I'm gonna move on guys to the next color. And I think crease, you guys know I like to, tell you guys about my crease bone. So right in here, I'm gonna just start giving it some definition. Kind of raising my eye to make sure I'm not doing uh, any streaks that it's kind of more seamless. So that's all that I'm doing. I'm just working in that brown. It's really pretty, but it's showing up probably really dark. But whatever. So I'm gonna just keep blending until I am satisfied. Do it till you're satisfied. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. 
and just dig into that other side of the crease. And I'm rotating my brush around because I don't want it to climb up. I want it to stay in this crease area. And because it's a little bit more of a fluffy brush, I'm purposely like kind of jabbing it into the eye a little bit so I don't lose control of where it's going. Sometimes it happens, you lose control and you're like, this isn't the look that I wanted, but I'm gonna go for it, whatever. Don't have time to change it now. It's like, I dealt with that so many times. I hate having that feeling of like, that's not the look you wanted, but it just is what it is and you're just willing to go for it. And that's like, ah, I hate it. <laughs> So I'm just like really taking my time as you guys can see and I'm blending until I'm legit satisfied and I just want this color to be a little bit lighter so I'm just making sure it's just blended to my liking so that's all I'm doing. with my new favorite blush palette from Juvia's. I'm gonna take my now new favorite highlighters, these two girls, and I'm going to blend them together. And that's what I'm gonna do here. And I'm gonna add it to the highlight of my cheekbones, guys. I'm just gonna go ahead and really go for this. I'm gonna just use the sides. I like the side of the brush better. It really gets the job done sometimes. So I'm gonna be a little more mindful of this one this time, guys. I know last time I went hard. I'ma lighten up, I, you know, sometimes it just, the mood hits you and you just go there, you know? So I'm just gonna add this again to the apples of my cheeks, all the way up. Sometimes I like to add it to the brow. And I'm gonna take the flat, the, you know, bushy part of the brush, bushy. I don't know why I call it that, but, you know, the, fluffier part of the brush, I'm going to then, you know, just, you know, take it to wherever level I want. So I'm gonna raise this just a smudge. No one's gonna see it anyway, but I really am enjoying this look, so. I can't wait until I'm all the way done. I am gonna show you guys what lip color I'm gonna use. I'm loving nude, so I'm gonna stay with nude. I'm gonna be using Darren Lee Nude. I used it in my last video, guys. I'm using it again. I'm gonna be using it right here in the center of my lips. So as you guys can see, uh, she's so beautiful. I really, really love Darren Lee Nude. Like, I feel like this is every chocolate girl in the world should have this color. I really do feel that way. Maybelline hit Darren Lee Nude right on the nose. Like, look at, like it takes nothing. Ugh, I love this color. I'm gonna wear this out. I think this is my second one. I wasn't wearing it a whole lot in the beginning when I first bought it, but then I started wearing it a lot as I realized like more and more I wore it, more and more I loved it. So I always started tend to like leave it in my makeup bag. I, I just always have it with me anytime I am on the road or I'm running errands and maybe a last minute get together, I have Darren Lee Nude on deck every time. It's the best color ever, like I love it. So now that I'm done with that, I did my highlighters. I'm gonna go in with some mascara, guys. I'm gonna be using my Too Faced. I'm very particular about how I apply mascara, so what I tend to do is just kinda look, I'm looking at a mirror on the side here, so because I kinda prime my lashes already, um, because my lashes are super bone straight, I could never do this unless I have already prepared my eyes. Basically saying I've already put on mascara, so it's a kind of like dry a little bit and now I'm gonna go in with another coat. I always use different mascara, so I'll use, let's say L'Oreal, and I'll use um, Too Faced. I will actually go in, I have this new one, 
sorry it's not in front of me it's a new um it's from ah it's from Lancome sorry guys <laughs> it's from Lancome I have this new one here I really like it guys like Lancome is expensive listen I don't even look at Lancome when I go into like Sephora I don't really look at you know Lancome she's just a really expensive girlfriend and I just can't afford her but I got this one for free and now I'm like man I wish I never tried it because I think I'm gonna have to buy it like I need the full size because look how it gets to these lashes guys I'm gonna zoom in right now look how it's just attacking those lashes in the most appropriate way possible and it helps to blink at least for me so I don't get clumping and then I'm gonna take it down I'm gonna take these um, I'm gonna just take the mascara and do the bottom ones as well okay guys so this is the finished look I'm like super proud of myself I really felt like just going all out with this look I kind of left the hair up because I just didn't feel like putting it all down in my face so I just kind of left it up and I'm enjoying this look Juvia's place I completely slept on her blush palette because this is amazing like I'm obsessed with this palette I am so happy I, I bought this palette cuz what would I be doing without it right about now right jeez but you know I do want to go back and talk about you know how are we all you know just able to just like celebrate and feel like it's still authentic even though we're not there so I I know that for myself I'm using zoom a lot I'm using um, FaceTime a lot now um, and I, I will admit, I just got Zoom, so I'm getting on to it, so I, but I am starting to use it. Um, you know, a lot of like vi digital ways of talking to people, I am now kind of that person who's like on the digital wave. Like I want to now see the person I'm talking to. I don't just want to be on the phone, which is, you know, a really weird craving to want when we're used to just grabbing a phone and just talking. Now I'm like, I kind of get excited when someone wants to FaceTime me now. Before it'd be like, nah, it's like, you know, now I'm like, I don't care what state I look like, I'm answering this FaceTime call because that's, you know, that to me now excites me versus just a regular phone call or a regular text. Like, all that's still fine, but I now like the thought of FaceTiming. And I'm kind of curious to see, like, once this all lifts and life goes back to normal, um, you know, what is going to, like, keep trending? Are we going to all still do a lot of things digitally? Do you guys think we're going to do a lot of FaceTiming more? Do you think that that's going to stop now that we can actually see each other? Or do you guys think that it'll be something that we'll continue doing, you know, long past this? I'm I'm very curious to see everybody's opinion and hear everybody's thoughts. So if you guys have any opinions or thoughts about it, leave me comments below. Subscribe, guys. I do appreciate each and every one of you guys for clicking, subscribing, um, telling a friend, and just supporting me in general. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.